GitHub Copilot vs AutoGPT Final Match. If you are a developer and you want to know which AI tool is going to make you the best developer out there, you are in the right place. Today I'm going to show you which AI tool is good and better for you. It can be GitHub Copilot, it can be AutoGPT, but which one of them you must purchase and start working. I'm going to show you by six categories which one better than the other one so stay tuned we're about to start feel free to follow for more amazing tutorials welcome back guys and thank you for keep watching so before we actually start this uh, amazing video what i really recommend you to do is to go to my youtube channel and watch my latest uh, video about auto gpt how to install it and also about the uh, github copilot uh, how it works it will give you like a review of what we're gonna be uh, discussing about today so please do that and of course auto gpt vests github copilot those are the categories that i'm gonna use in order to rate which ai tool is better for you as a developer what will make you uh, the best developer so we have installation pricing speed delivery easy to use and automation so let's start with the first one installation which one is easy uh, to install and start to use so i'm gonna start with uh a github copilot so if you didn't watch my recent video installing github copilot it's very very easy very simple you just go into your visual studio writing on the extension github copilot and you install it pressing the button and that's it uh, and it will redirect you also to github to actually activate the subscription uh, so it's very intuitive very easy like any other plugin that you install uh, compared to that if you want to uh, install AutoGPT, it's a little bit uh, more complicated, but still not something that it's crazy that you can't do. So again, you can also go to my uh, GitHub GIS. I created the install documentation. Uh, basically, you need to follow a few uh, steps. And before that, you also need to install a uh, Docker because uh, as you know, AutoGPT working with Docker on the background, you don't have to use this method, but this is what I described in my recent uh, YouTube video. After you making sure you have uh, Docker installed in your local computer, you need to follow those uh, steps of git clone, uh, fetch uh, recent data, and you also uh, need to have an API key that you need to basically add to the environment. Again, it's not super complicated, but it's the, it's uh, demand few more steps compared to the other one uh, compared to GitHub Copilot. So in this category, I'm gonna give a mark to GitHub Copilot. Next category is pricing, which one is have a better pricing. So if you're gonna go to GitHub Copilot, GitHub Copilot uh, costs $10 a month, and you can use it how long you want, 24, seven, 30 days in a month. It will only be $10. Uh, $10. And also once you start a free trials, they're giving you two months of free a use so you don't have to pay for the next two months and you if you are a business you also have a program for a copilot for business now uh, when we come to um, auto gpt with auto gpt this pricing is a little bit different but it's also a, a good one basically you only pay for what you use so but you don't know actually how they calculating the pricing as you see here on the screen they have like a different a rate limit and also the way that I use it. I use it like a uh, one hour for each day in, in May month, and it cost me like uh, one dollar and nineteen cent. Uh, but I barely use it. I use it like one hour for each day, and so as you know, it can go and accumulate and be more and more more than ten months if you are uh, thinking of using it on a daily basis. I use GitHub Copilot on a daily basis, uh, like shift of uh, developing eight nine hours. And if I will do the same thing with um, a auto GPT, uh, I guess I will have to pay more. So also again in this uh, category, I will uh, go with a GitHub Copilot, and I think you have a better pricing uh, method. Next one is speed. Which one is faster? Which one give me a faster result? So in order to do this, uh, this one I'm doing an end zone uh, demonstration. I'm actually uh, making a demo of how to use how a GitHub Copilot and AutoGPT gonna uh, work for me as an AI tool. So I'm gonna uh, ask for GitHub Copilot to write me a Python web scrapping script that will uh, get a URL uh, from the user, okay? And it will download all image, including CSS background image from a link or website that I will give him in the uh, console. 
Okay, it's very simple script, nothing complicated. It can be like one page uh, Python script. Okay, so as you can see right now on the GitHub Copilot, I'm writing the description of the test that I want to do. And after that, I'm going to copy that and also paste it to Auto Copilot, uh, sorry, to Auto GPT. And I will let both of them run at the same time and we'll see which one is uh, faster. Okay, so let me just finish with the description of the task. I think we have uh, everything. Okay, perfect. So now I'm gonna uh, just uh, copy and also extract it to uh, to send a, a task to AutoGPT. So I'm just gonna create a one sentence uh, line. Okay, that's it. Let's copy the task. Let's go to AutoGPT. Let's start it. Okay, it's take like a few seconds and that's it. So here I'm gonna give him the test that I want to do, the same with GitHub Copilot. And I'm gonna wait for it to digest my uh, request. We'll take a few more seconds. We'll, I'm waiting for the next comment. Okay, perfect. This is the next comment, uh, thinking. And what I wanna do right now, we just give him like a yes with a minus 20, like dash 20. So we'll, it's run a by itself. I don't have to do anything. Okay, 20 and go. So we have AutoGPT that try now to actually solve my request to generate the code that I wanted. And here I'm going to show you also how it works with GitHub Copilot and which one is faster. So as you can see with GitHub Copilot uh, compared to AutoGPT, uh, AutoGPT is running on the background, so it's a big advantage. And GitHub uh, Copilot, also I don't need to do too much. I'm just pressing tab and enter, tab and enter, tab and enter and it's basically generating the code. It is very, very fast, as you can see. And I think like in a few more seconds, uh, I will have the a code that I need, the script, the web uh, scraper that I ask in Python. Everything is generated by, by GitHub Copilot. As you can see, I'm not doing anything. It's just like every time that I'm doing enter and tab, it's like, generate a new code for me okay and yeah, download all image and basically that's it this is the code as you can see print all the image that's it it's done it was very fast under than one minute let's see what's going on with auto gpt so auto gpt also finished but it's stuck it's stuck it's like uh, i try to run the code try to test it but it gets stuck it got error and but as you can see it tried the file name that it just created with a google a link category i will give both of them a check mark a v because i think both of them are faster and now let's go to the delivery basic delivery which one giving me result that it's actually uh, working so i will try to run the uh, github copilot code uh, let's try a uh, Python with the uh, web that I saved and we have an uh, error and we have error oh I didn't I didn't add the, the github uh, link sorry I didn't add a link to download all the image okay and now we have another error okay so let me try to work with github copilot I will try to like uh, fix it let's see um, that it's actually um, Maybe it gets still working. Maybe I need to just change a few uh, more settings. I'm letting GitHub Copilot do its thing. And as you can see, after I fixed it with GitHub Copilot, the code is running. And if I'm going to go now to the uh, folder that all the images are there, let's see if it downloads all the image and everything is working. Okay. Let's check it out. And yeah, this is, uh, yeah, as you can see, this is the GitHub uh, website. All the images have been downloaded, including background image. So GitHub Copilot delivery working. Now let's check uh, Auto GPT. So as you can see, uh, the program Auto GPT is still stuck, like something cutting an error, even though it it's finished it. It created the code that uh, I needed, but it can go in ahead. You have uh, some kind of uh, error. So I will try to uh, also uh, check the code and see if it's actually working or not. And basically uh, see if the delivery is okay. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna run the code 
that auto GPT I uh, just created. I'm gonna go to the uh, folder that is saving all the new file. Okay, this is not the folder. Let me go back. Okay, yeah, this is the folder and let's see. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, we can see here the scrapper. So let me try to run the scrapper now. Let's see if it's actually working with the uh, GitHub uh, website. Okay, I need to add the URL, I forgot about it. So we also have an error, it's not uh, completely uh, working. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna do, I will try to fix it manually, like a few seconds to see that it's actually working. Uh, I will let also, um, let's check it out, let's check it out. Okay, this is the code. So yeah, let's. Um, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna try uh, to dedicate like few more seconds to see that uh, actually the code is working. Let's let Auto GPT uh, run on the background and try to fix it by itself. In the meanwhile, I will try to do it manually. Okay, so I did some change and tried to make it work, but still it didn't work. I still have uh, an error. And unfortunately, as you can see, it's not working. So regarding to the uh, check mark, I will give delivery a result that's working to GitHub and Copilot and not to AutoGPT. Next category, it's easy to use. For my experience, what was easy for me to use. So as you can see, uh, once you understand AutoGPT and you just need to put a comment and that is it, doing all the work by itself. Uh, but also um, GitHub Copilot is very intuitive, it's very easy, so both of them got a mark from me. And next uh, and last category is automation, which one it work, can work by itself. So in the automation part, as you know, AutoGPT, it's automation. It's basically once you give it a comment and you mark it as a continuous, it can work by itself and do everything by itself. You don't need to do anything else unless like you have a very rare error that you need to step in and do stuff. Uh, this is the uh, unique stuff with the uh, auto uh, GPT and compared to that uh, GitHub Copilot as you know it's a uh, hands-on it's something that like helping you are uh, writing the code so if you're not doing anything it's not gonna <laughs> do anything for you you need to like step in and do stuff uh, so in this category uh, the winner big big winner is a uh, auto GPT everything is automated as you can see and this is the most the biggest advantage of auto GPT you don't need to do anything so let's summarize our match between a uh, github copilot and auto GPT the final match so what I share with you with all those six different category seem like the, the best AI tool for a developer it's github Copilot is more intuitive, more easy to install, more easy to use, and give you accurate uh, result. So I really recommend you get up a Copilot. But if you don't wanna say goodbye to ChatGPT, so I wanted to introduce you also GitHub Copilot X. This is the next thing for the AI a developer. It's combination of ChatGPT4 and GitHub Copilot right in your Visual Studio. So keep watching, and I'm gonna release on my next tutorial exactly how to use it and how it works. Thank you for watching guys, keep follow for more amazing tutorial, please like, subscribe and leave comment below and please share with me your idea, your thought if you want me to do any other uh, match between other AI tool or between other technology, uh, please leave a comment below and I will be happy to help.